I think this is something that every human should go through and experience once in their life. A time to really connect with myself in a very profound and unique way and having the time to do so. And I always feel like I don't have time. And here all you have is time. And time is irrelevant. Time doesn't matter. You matter. <laughs> Being from New York City, we're just in constant movement and motion of being the most efficient and effective you can with your time and getting the most done. I, I, I've lived outside of New York, not in all 50 states, but it's just different elsewhere. And when you're raised in an environment where you don't feel like you're doing enough, you don't feel like you're enough. And you're in a, a rat wheel, just, you don't even realize you can't breathe. You haven't been able to catch your breath. I think it's really important for people to take even a few days, even if it's three or two, even if it's one, just to be still and be with themselves without deadlines, without a to-do list. It's really important to tend to yourself or you just get lost. We just attach this idea of progress to time and like reaching a certain point and then having joy from that and then moving on to the next. Progress is, is, is a little different now for me because it's within myself. It's not about me doing. I know I can do. I've been doing my whole life. <laughs> we were born in a robotic way in the society to just do, 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 do. <clears throat> I knocked that one out of the park. I'm really good at that. <laughs> but to be able to pull back layers of yourself and dive deeper into aspects you don't know about yourself unless you're by yourself that to me is progress being able to fully surrender and dive in deeper willingly and push through and keep digging and keep digging so we're always going to be a work in progress no one's perfect no dalai lama no monk no guru is perfect they're all a work in progress and as conscious and spiritual as they can be that means we, as non-practicing folk, some, some of us, <clears throat> we're still a work in progress. And we always will be. It's when we're not a work in progress that we're not progressing. Yeah, the experience between plant medicine and sky cave, or just going into the darkness in general, it's very different because I feel that when you sit with medicine, you kind of depend on that to create a journey for you. And then with the darkness, you are the medicine and you're sitting with yourself. And that's fucking deep. That's, that's deep. And not to say plant medicine is not, but it's a different type of depth. You know, when you sit with medicine, you're waiting for it to arrive in your body and connect with you and then circle or spiral around you and then take you somewhere, potentially take you somewhere. It doesn't happen every time, but it can. And then you have your journey and then you rest and then you come back. But in the darkness, the journey is within. You're not dependent on an outside substance or something to get you anywhere. The only one that can get you there is you. So the medicine lies within. And that's very profound to know that you're walking around and you are a medicine. You know, to know that, wow, I don't even need anything. I can literally just sit in a room in total stillness and darkness and I will take off to places I've never seen before. But they're my places, they're me, which makes it so much more personal it's very intimate it's very intimate yeah i realized i could trust myself i realized that i know like the knowing inside of me is true and i can count on it so the true test is who are you when no one's looking that's the first one 
Who are you really? How do you show up in this world when no one's looking? When there's no stage to perform? And I found that my essence, my spark, it didn't matter that there was no stage or people. My spark existed. And I didn't perform for anyone in there. I wasn't theatrical or dramatic and, and that's fine if I was. Normally that's just how expressive I can be in normal life, but in here, it was still. And yet still, I would have moments of talking to myself and being funny and being spunky. And I'm like, ah, the essence lives whether there's people or not. And that was very important for me to also realize and connect with. I'm not the same person that walked in. I can feel it. <laughs>